Hey guys, so I am pretty glad that I did not buy any MetaZoo. It turns out MetaZoo was a pump and dump scam. And yeah, the cards are very low. So you can argue, hey, it was a great game. I love the artwork. You can't argue the price. And that's something really important in life is the price will be the price and the price will dictate supply and demand. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into price. But the market price will be the market price. And it's same with stocks, same with bonds, same with houses. If the owner of a house believes his home is worth this much, but the market says otherwise, he's going to be sitting on the house for a long time. And he may not never ever be able to sell the home without you know, a market going up or him going down. So the market, in my opinion, is almost always right. Uh, it's very, very difficult in today's society to find something like a deal. And the reason is because there's so many other people trying to find a deal. If you are able to find a deal first, then yeah, um, good, good on you. But everyone's looking for that black lotus in the garage bin of a old lady's attic, right? That everyone's looking for a steal. Everyone, and if you, I think maybe before everyone had cell phones with eBay and so on, uh, it's much more likely that when something is pumped, it's a bad deal than it's a good deal. So MetaZoo is a very, very important case study because a lot of people invested in MetaZoo. They're still showing off their MetaZoo collections now. And really is a shame because at one point in time that probably was worth something. Today, there it's worth very, very little because you can buy a collection for a thousand dollars on eBay that is far surpassing anything they're showing off. And who knows how many of these highly collectible cards are just sitting there in China waiting to be shipped out or bought by somebody, right? Like a whatnot streamer. I think there was already accounts of a whatnot streamer wanting to go to China and trying to buy all the cards. MetaZoo is a very interesting case study because it's unlike Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, I've, it was supposed to be Pokemon. I think they compared it to Pokemon a lot. And a lot of things they did were correct. I mean, they did do a good job uh, promoting themselves, selling it, doing collector cons. And there were many reasons that people invested. And in, when I mean invest, if you put more than $5,000 into this product, it is an investment. Um, at no point in time is are you like playing the game for five thousand dollars, right? The cards are not worth that much um, as, as a deck, uh, but you're probably collecting. And this is one of the most important lessons you guys have to learn about collecting. Is my God, you can go like it. If you go to zero, you're aft. It's okay to lose fifty percent. That happens on stocks all of the time to lose fifty percent, but to lose. Um, to go to zero is just so, so bad. You know, it, I mean, it's just, there, there's not much I can say about that except you are effed uh, beyond belief when you go to zero. Because then you will have, I mean, these there are sellers here that are taking massive L's to the face. There are sellers here who are selling graded cards for less money than cost of grade. So you know that's a loss. There are sellers here selling boxes and boxes of this stuff, five st spell books for $37. And people say, why don't you include shipping? Well, the shipping doesn't go to the seller, right? Like these are people with investments and you can see from the backgrounds and so on. The sneak out guy has a lot. I mean, these, these are sellers not selling one or two items. They're selling batches of these items and uh, in my personal opinion, um, you know, they're selling Rudy promos, Io Steve Ioki promos, Michael Waddell promos, right? Numbered, serialized. These cards are probably the grails that they were going to hold until they died had this become Pokemon, but not everything is Pokemon, and MetaZoo certainly was not Pokemon. So I thank the gods I didn't buy MetaZoo. There was a very close call around October where I could have got into MetaZoo. And when I get into something, I really get into it. Like Fire Emblem Cypher, I just dump $20,000 within the first two weeks of buying it. And I'm kind of glad I did, because in that case, the game had already died, and 
sales are very far and few in between. That makes sense. A lot of cards, people want 10 times what the card is worth, and they put it on eBay, and there's rarely any auctions for a dead card game. They're just kind of setting the price on eBay super high because no one has it, and no one will buy it. You know, I, I, I do feel that MetaZoo could be like that someday, but those are not real prices, right? Those are um, not the prices at all of, of these cards. So back to kind of uh, where I am with this assessment. Um, when you have so many cards available and you have so many, um, you know, you, you have a lot of this stuff, it is very interesting in my opinion to see and really experience what this is. Uh, a card game that has died, that has not, that does not have the ability to, does not have the correct management. And you can even see from the copium that people are still really, really having trouble like getting past that this thing is dead. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie, and I'm not going to say that like this game can never come back. I just think it's just very, very unlikely it will. And without actually having a roadmap into it, its new thing, it's just dead. In a dead card game, liquidity eventually will dry up. The majority of the people who want the card game will buy the card game. There won't be any new players because there's no new product, there's no new hype, there's no new influencers, and then the card game just kind of passes away, right? Um, what can you say about that? Um, it It's a fascinating turn of events, for sure. It is a something where I fully believe that now, if you if you have any interest in cryptids or this product, now is the time to go ham. Now is the time to really buy into this uh, because, yeah, um, makes perfect sense to me. Uh, makes perfect sense to me to just kind of go for it. And your grails will still be there. Your grails will always be grails. And in reality, um, a lot of the stuff that you love, you will always love it. But you're not going to flip it. And we see what the true price is once you get rid of all those evil investors. And the true price is for 5 bucks with $5 shipping from a dude who sold over a million products... You can get a graded card, PSA 10, but remember, graded cards from PSA cost $15 minimal, minimal to grade. So whoever got this card graded, and then Probstein's going to take a cut, eBay is going to take a cut, that shipping isn't going to the buyer, guys. I don't know why you guys can't think, and look at the um, first edition Kickstarter box. The box that Rudy said was like $10,000 or something. It's like $655, guys, from Probstein. 